Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering Navbase Classifier algorithm. Guys, I have uploaded complete data mining subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. Navbase algorithm is a supervised learning algorithm. Supervised learning algorithm in algorithm which uses labeled data to train machines. Labeled data means data which contains both input and as well as output. And Navbase Classifier algorithm is based on Bayes theorem and user for solving classification problems the name itself says now base classifier algorithm that means this algorithm uses Bayes theorem in order to solve classification problems this algorithm will solve classification problems but mainly it is used to solve text classification problems which contains high dimensional training data set and now base classifier is one of the simple and most efficient classification algorithm most efficient mean which will give correct output by using this algorithm we can build fast machine learning models which will make quick predictions we can call this now base classifier as probabilistic classifier because it can predict the probability of an object these are the two advantages of nav based classifier one is it is fast and easy machine learning algorithm this is one of the advantage it is fast and as well as easy machine learning algorithm to predict class of a data set class is nothing but it can predict output easily and second advantage is if you want to solve text based classification problems then this algorithm is best choice this is second advantage but how can we solve this nav based classifier problems that is by using Bayes theorem. By using Bayes theorem, we can solve now Bayes classifier problems. This is formula of Bayes theorem that is probability of A by B is equal to probability of B by A into probability of A by probability of B. What is meaning of this probability of A by B? A by B mean probability of A when B is true. Probability of B by A mean probability of b when a is true. we can solve this problem by using this formula i will explain one problem this is a problem which we need to solve now here the given table in table there are total three types of fruits they are mango banana and orange total there are 65 mangoes out of 65 mangoes 35 mangoes are yellow in color 45 mangoes are sweet and zero long and similarly total there are 40 bananas out of 40 bananas 40 are yellow in color 30 are sweet and 35 are long. Similarly, total there are 15 oranges. Out of 15 oranges, 5 oranges are yellow in color and 10 oranges are sweet and 5 oranges are long. Total how many fruits are yellow in color? 35 plus 40 plus 5. Total 80. Similarly, how many fruits are sweet? 45 plus 30 plus 10 that is 85. And how many fruits are long? 35 plus 5 that is 40. Now we need to calculate total of all these fruits that is 65 mangoes plus 40 bananas plus 15 total 120 total there are 120 fruits out of 120 fruits 80 fruits are yellow in color and 85 fruits are sweet and 40 fruits are long this is table here in question they given one new fruit this fruit has following properties that is this fruit is yellow in color this fruit is sweet and as well as it is long now we need to find to which category this fruit belongs to Either this fruit belongs to mango or this fruit belongs to banana or this fruit belongs to orange. We need to find this. By using nav base algorithm, I need to find this. For this, I use Bayes theorem formula. This is Bayes theorem formula. That is probability of A by B is equal to probability of B by A into probability of A by probability of B. This is main formula which we need to remember to solve this problem. Here in question, they given three fruits. They are mango, banana and orange. So we need to calculate probability for mango and probability for banana and probability for orange at first i am calculating probability for mango let this new fruit be x i am considering this new fruit as x so here probability of x by mango is equal to probability of yellow by mango into probability of here there are three properties now yellow sweet long so here probability of yellow by mango into probability of sweet by mango into probability of what is third property that is long probability of long by mango now i am applying base theorem formula for this three first i am applying base theorem for this probability of yellow by mango what is base theorem formula that is probability of a by b is equal to probability of b by a into probability a by probability b that is probability of yellow by mango is equal to probability of mango by yellow into probability of yellow by probability of mango similarly now i am applying base theorem for this probability of sweet by mango formula is probability of mango by sweet into probability of sweet by 
probability of mango again we need to apply base theorem formula for this probability of long by mango probability of long by mango is equal to probability of mango by long long into probability of long by probability of mango i applied base theorem formula for this three now we need to write values for this what is value of probability of mango by yellow by seeing this table what is probability of mango when yellow is true probability of mango is 35 35 by what is probability of yellow 80 into what is probability of yellow probability of yellow is 80 and total is 120 so here 80 by 120 whenever we get this like this probability of yellow then we need to write probability of yellow by total total is 120 no so i written 80 by 120 by what is probability of mango probability of mango is 65 how many mangoes are the total 65 now so 65 by 120 into next probability of mango by sweet that is 45 by 85 45 by 85 into what is probability of sweet that is total how many fruits are sweet 85 that is 85 by 120 and probability of mango we already calculated probability of mango here that is 65 by 120 into next probability of mango by long that is 0 by 40 0 by 40 into what is probability of long that is 40 by 120 by what is probability of mango i already calculated here probability of mango is 65 by 120 65 by 120 that is equal to 35 by 80 into 80 by 120 into we need to bring this up that is 120 by 65 here 120 120 cancel 80 80 cancel into 45 by 85 into 85 by 120 we need to bring this up that is 120 by 65 here 85 85 cancel 120 120 cancel do 0 by 40 into 40 by 120 into we need to bring this up that is 120 by 65 here 120 120 cancel 40 40 cancel that is equal to 35 by 65 into 45 by 65 into 0 by 65 anything into 0 is 0 so here value is 0 here probability of mango is 0 similarly we need to calculate probability for banana and orange here i calculated probability for banana probability of x by banana is equal to probability of yellow by banana into probability of sweet by banana into probability of long by banana applied base theorem formula for this three that is probability of yellow by banana is equal to probability of banana by yellow into probability of yellow by probability of banana we need to apply base theorem formula for this three after that we need to substitute values that is probability of banana by probability of yellow what is value of probability of banana that is 40 by 80 here probability of banana is 40 probability of yellow is 80 total there are 80 yellow fruits so 80 that is 40 by 80 into what is probability of yellow that is 80 total 80 yellow fruits out of 120 fruits so here 80 by 120 by probability of banana total there are 40 banana fruits out of 120 so here 40 by 120 similarly i written values for these two so 40 by 80 into 80 by 120 we need to bring this up that is 120 by 40 when we bring this up it will become 120 by 40 80 80 cancel 120 120 cancel 40 40 cancel similarly here 85 85 cancel 120 120 cancel it will become 30 by 40 and here 40 40 cancel 120 120 cancel 1 into 30 by 40 into 35 by 40 if we calculate this in calcium we will get value like this 0.65 this is value of banana 0.65 now we need to find probability for orange probability of x by orange is equal to probability of yellow by orange into probability of sweet by orange into probability of long by orange after applying base theorem and substituting values we will get probability of orange as we will get probability of orange as 0.07 this is probability of orange 
we got probability of banana as 0.65 and probability of mango as 0 and probability of orange is 0.07 among these three fruits which fruit has highest probability that is probability of banana has highest probability that is 0.65 this is highest so this fruit belongs to banana this is output that is this new fruit with yellow sweet and long property belongs to banana guys if base classification methods question comes in exam then you need to write this base theorem formula and then you need to write this nav base classifier answer that's it because base classification methods are classified into two types one is base theorem and next one is nav base classifier